So this is the inside of my Dutch tool chest, which I've shown in other videos. Um, and everything looks cool. I really like it. Except over in this corner. So I've got this little block plane just sitting loose on the bottom of the, the tool tail here. And then I've got the, literally a tin can uh, with like dividers and pencils and marking knives and junk like that in there. I'd really like to clean that up. So one idea it, I've seen people do is put basically like a block plane holster or holder over here against this sidewall, which is all blank. So I'm going to try and do that. Here's the uh, plane I want to use. And here is some scrap wood that I've just planed down. Um, nothing is to exact dimensions. Uh, this is roughly a quarter of an inch thick, but it's not exactly because it doesn't really matter. This is about a half inch thick. This is all from just like two by four pine. Uh, so just scrap wood. Um, what I want to do is get the plane. Plane's going to rest something like this on this piece of wood. Let me turn it so we can see it better. And then this I'm going to fashion into some something to hold this in place. So what I'm going to do here is get it roughly where I want the plane and then I'm just going to mark lightly where the sides of the plane here, let me turn this a little bit so you can kind of see. So I'm going to mark here where the sides of the plane will come on the si on this piece of wood. So I'm just using relative sizing here. And then I'm also going to mark the opposite edge. And I'll mark the edge over here. There we go. Okay. So now, I don't know if you can see that mark, that should give me enough of an idea of how I should make the sides and cut them to meet that, uh, to match up with this particular plane. Okay, now that I've got the sides of the plane marked here, I'm basically, uh, like you can see that's a curve. Um, I don't want to cut a curve into this. Uh, that's not really going to work very well. So I want to kind of turn this into a straight line. So I'm just going to do something that's close. In fact, let's just move it up to make it a little looser. And then I'm just going to strike a line like that. So basically, that's how the plane should rest when it's in this holster. So it should hit this point of the side, basically. OK. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I've got that piece I just marked with that straight line um, here on my bench hook. Now it's not a 90 degree cut, so I'll have to be a little bit careful with it. But oh, let me move that mallet out of the way. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to saw that saw that line straight down through. Okay, so now I'm going to take that piece that I just cut, which is right here, and I'm going to, it was like this, I'm going to flip it over and put it on top of the other piece. And basically, if I, if I rip this off, if I line it up perfectly, there we go, and draw that line, that should, this piece should match the other one. You can see it lines up nicely on top. Okay, so this is cool. Um, basically I've got uh, just a little uh, 
hand clamp here on this for the second just to hold this together just to try it. What I'm doing is I've put this piece on top of the kind of angled part and I'm trying to figure out where this will slide through and the knob will get past but it will uh, hit that this top piece of wood will hit on the side of the plane here and I think I've found it right about there so I'm gonna also obviously cut it off a bit um, but basically I'm gonna mark it the position on the angled piece here and then um, how long this needs to be I might just cut it in half and cut it and that should be good I'll do the same thing on the other side and that should hold it I think Okay, so this is the side piece I just cut, and it's roughly in position. So let's now try sliding the plane in. Yep, that is perfect. So it doesn't run into the back of the plane, and as you're sliding it in, it doesn't hit the front knob and it registers right against the side of the plane which is exactly what I want so that's perfect alright so off camera I struggled with this and basically screwed this together I decided to use screws because I wasn't sure about uh, if, if glue for this type of joint would be okay for just a butt joint so I use screws and then I don't have to worry about it so uh, screws through the back. I kind of messed up one of the holes over here, so there's a new one, but that this will be up against the sidewall. Um, not the prettiest thing in the world, but there are points for something that works. <laughs> 